Hello, hello, and welcome to another small tutorial. And this time I will show you how you can take off the top cover on a old robot Vol Fool or Vol Automat uh, Star uh, 2. I think it means that is full automat, which it is actually. But let's take a look inside and uh, see what we can do. And we zoom out a little and there needs some tool. At least some uh, two screwdrivers. This is a, a two millimeter flathead. Uh, and this is a three millimeter. So, um, I mean, <clears throat> there's not not nothing really special tool in this except for the uh, compass this is an old compass which is uh, from a set and it's also adjustable and it's really good for small things to work with and uh, there's no plastic in this fine old thing I don't know the brand there's a I yeah I think it's a some kind of called rich chat or something but it works pretty good um, of course we need a tweezer this is just a simple one and we need some glue and a small screwdriver or something um, I mean a pointy thing that is easy to apply the the glue on some of the parts this is just it could be contact glue or contact cement or yeah, nothing really special. This is a Danish brand called Dana Lean, which is quite good for many things. Now, to the subject. <coughs> this old, nice uh, robot camera uh, is. Uh, there are some issues with it. I mean, the some of the scales, like the the one here. Uh, is really it doesn't really stick to the cover and uh, there's also the the plate that counts the, the frames uh, in here uh, it's also uh, not sitting quite good and the viewfinder glass element does not actually sit too tight you see one can actually move it so how to actually go in and correct all those things well uh, <clears throat> yeah I took a little closer look at it but uh, I couldn't find uh, really good info on the internet so I think well it's time to make a video out of, out of this it's a funny camera because you there's no not really any advanced arm you just uh, cut the spring which is inside just like an old clock and so the camera is actually ready for shooting by pressing the button and um, you can you can actually shoot I don't know how many pictures maybe it's 12 or 20 uh, pictures in one simple um, advance of the the spring here and uh, I think it's quite interesting also when uh, when you look at it's actually a spy camera because you can just take a lot of pictures and then the Okay, there it is. And then you have to wind it up again. And then you can still continue with shooting anything, something. Well, this camera also uh, have a sticky shutter. Hmm. Well, <coughs> and uh, I will take a look in this in the next video so you have something to look at uh, and see what I can do hmm. without disassemble too much but let's go on for the uh, top cover here 
which uh, is very simple to take off. There is one screw here, there, and uh, the two on the accessory shoes. And that's it, actually. Ha. Huh. Well, not fully, because there is a retaining ring under here. And there is also the one for the rewinding of the film that need to be taken off. Uh, there are some thin washers and small parts, but it's not really a problem. But let's have a look inside and uh, see what we can do. So I will simply just uh, take off the, the accessory shoe here, and that's the easy part. The, li the little screw here is a bit longer and different. The head is bigger than the than the other one, which is a countersunk screw. And the red dot, which you can see here, have to face backward. So, and there, there are two small long springs underneath here, which we can see when I turn it over. Um, there's one here. <coughs> And it sits actually in the uh, in the accessory shoes, like sitting here. So the one fell off, but uh, it's not a problem. <laughs> but there shall be two. Now that's it. And uh, then the um, winder side of the camera, which is this one. There is uh, one screw. On the top and uh, we could actually just uh, so let it sit there and have a good grip on it and the thing is not yet <laughs> free So, and there's a long screw there, and there is some parts with this plate with the arrow on, and of course the the wheel, the handle or whatever it calls that uh, you pull out a little, so you can take out the roll inside here. There is, um, there's also, I will uh, just uh, wait a little until I have to take off this, uh, the rewinder. It's a funny thing, when you rewind it, you will, uh, it will, I mean, go up when you uh, turn it. And of course the, the ASA, DIN. Uh, is a bit loose, so uh, I also need to take <laughs> to put it correct in again. Now, be aware of this little plate here. There's one screw in the middle, and that's it. But have a good grip here, because uh, this wheel, I mean this plate, has to turn, even if the screw is uh, tightened. So um, be aware of how the part is actually putting back in. So by have a good grip here and turn it counterclockwise. So and off with that tiny little screw. I will just put it as you can see it. Now there is the plate itself with the um, Oh, there you see <coughs> one plate fall off. Just put it back so we have all in the correct um, sequence. There is a very tiny ring that sits in the um, in the plate. Hope you can see it here. 
this tiny ring is uh, the one who actually it's not the uh, glued or sticked into it has to this plate has to move freely in this ring so and I think we do so so the screw first the small ring the plate and then this uh, is actually a spring washer which is uh, already bent in the I mean as you can see it's not f completely flat as you probably can see um, so it has to to uh, have the curve just like this one it has to face upward now there are two in this camera there are two washers spacers the the one thinner than the other I don't know why maybe it's a kind of adjustment where they assembled the camera so tiny and then there is a longer screw that actually hold the the winder uh, grip or whatever it calls uh, into the axle I mean to the gear inside here as you can see here so only this part will be taken off <coughs> by unscrew the special screw so therefore I use a, a bigger screwdriver have a good grip good grip on the here and uh, I could maybe have used an even much bigger screwdriver but uh, this will work fine it's a uh, three millimeter flathead screwdriver this is a brand called uh, Vera which I in some way likes really good uh, uh, some of some of them are not so good but uh, well see the screw here oh <laughs> come on little fellow it's a little sh uh, different shape there's a hole and thread in the middle and uh, yeah so it is there is a tiny plate here that prevent the the screw here from actually falling straight into the bottom of the the squared the hole in the in this uh, tube so the screw the plate the handle <clears throat> and now of course the uh, ASA and uh, DIN Dean uh, plate so this one is the first to actually putting on the cover now <clears throat> the other side is uh, also I mean the winder side which is the uh, retaining knot here which I use my old um, compass thingy which I already adjust and it does it did not sit that tight so I think there shouldn't be a problem this one just because I would try it and all for that I mean unscrew it counterclockwise not really anything special but one thing you have to be aware of there is a plastic plate inside here the shutter button is also uh, it sit in three parts inside the shutter button itself a brass uh, pin and a spring so uh, when I unscrew this uh, retaining nut so it looks like this and then 
I can actually lift off the top cover. But I will do it in a way not I will I cannot just lift it up just like this. I have to lift it up like this one this way. So I lift over here and take care of the viewfinder. If it sits loose, which it can, and it does in this camera. So I will I will just uh, lift the 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 top cover off straight. But one thing you can do is actually have a small screwdriver and put it on the shutter button and push it down fully. And then it's easier to lift off the top cover. And the, the wheel, the small dented wheel here, which is uh, when you want to reset the counter. Um, so I will simply just lift off the top cover. It's a bit tight. And there are some some ears there. And there is, of course, one here on the back side. This is here. So one have to lift it up. It's easy. It's not easy to show, but if you see, I lift up the camera. I mean the cover, just like this way. And when I put it back in, it's actually the same. Now we are in the the top of the um, of the robot camera I will be very careful with the viewfinder which is actually loose and it's just glued into place by something well I don't know kind of glue and uh, they have been very kind of setting a small cross here on the top of the viewfinder which I think it's good. Maybe it's the same in, in the one camera you have. I don't know if there is any way you can see how it uh, should sit, but as long as I put some glue on here, it should be sit on the on the plate here. Now <clears throat> there are some parts we need to take care of. There are two washers two thin washers here as you can see and there is also a plastic plate with a mark on here hopefully you can see there and uh, it's the way it, it should sit when it's uh, in the in the top cover because you can see the mark here the mark is there and it of course has to sit inside here so uh, I mean if you possibly can see there I know it's not easy yeah okay and it should sit like there so it counts the the frames and you see there's one flat side here and another one here so it should sit so <clears throat> now the uh, counter wheel itself which you can see here and in this camera hmm, the uh, <laughs> it's actually the, the counter uh, plate here which is uh, loose and I need to put on some glue here and put it back in again. It can only sit in one way because there is a thicker part here underneath. So the has the upside down, I mean the upside facing <laughs> uh, plate uh, side here has to to sit where the counter plate has to sit so it's actually flush with the with the surface here so 
and uh, there it should be okay there <laughs> now how does it actually look inside well I will also take care of the shutter button and I'll show you uh, where you have to be aware of some parts the shutter button itself is a pin like this and the next part oh, can you be there <laughs> and this part is which is the next thing what is which is a kind of of extension of the shutter button itself there's a tube in one in the other end here and the pin is here so you just put this brass in here there's also a spring in here that can fall out if you are not aware of, of it just put it in again so when you put this bag into place just put the brass pin on the spring and it goes all the way in as long as it can and then the uh, shutter button itself goes on and it has to sit in a not in a um, like this with the flat side here but it's more it has to sit more like this uh, angle because of the top covers when we see it like this uh, has a bit out of uh, it's not an angle it's more to yeah <laughs> out of angle so but how does it look when I actually fire the shutter button I mean fire the camera so it stays on 125 and I can just uh, press the button if it's possible Snake. so there okay I have to rewind the camera it's really a funny thing So, and if I push the button here, something will happen. Oh. <laughs> it's really a strange camera. And if you look carefully here, this area here is actually the, the mechanism that that push the counter wheel one step ahead every time you take a shot. So let's see here if like I forgot to show it. See? So it just put push the frame the counter wheel one click forward so now it's not much energy one thing is also to be aware of is the there is also a brass ring here which uh, if you if it just fall on the on the floor uh, you need to find it and it's actually the one that sits where the I mean over the counter wheel here so so it is <clears throat> now we could also take a look how the counter wheel actually uh, push one step forward
so let's see how it looks <laughs> when it counts so if I uh, just have a tool here and put over here and then I can uh, push the button and look what happened with the wheel oh come on You see, I mean, it goes pretty fast, but uh, so it is. Now, um, then I would like to put things back in again. Uh, need to glue, just use a little glue on this plate here. doesn't need to be that much I mean it's not it's not really heavy stuff but of course it has to sit tight so <clears throat> and then I can just put this on but uh, I think I will use some kind of a lubrication. Um, do I have some? I think I will just use some sewing machine oil, which is very thin. But it will make the things work uh, a little better, I think. So just a tiny drop of... This is just ordinary, I mean... Not the ordinary, but the very, very thin sewing machine oil. And uh, just add drop here. Not really much. So. And then the plate sits there. So I can uh, add the plastic cover here. And then the two spacers. So, come on. <laughs> <clears throat> that's it and of course the viewfinder has to sit correct too so I will just put on some glue and stick it onto the top plate on the of the camera so ah uh, <laughs> Okay, well, things happen. And I will just uh, polish it a little. <sighs> so. Okay, we'll just use some where did it went? Mm -hmm. I think I will just use some lighter fluid to to just clean it a little so it looks much better. Just a few drops. And it will do a lot. And the back side. Which also needs some care. Oh, 
Wow, it's actually clean. <laughs> Amazing. So, wow. Welcome to the world. <clears throat> so, and uh, I think we'll just add a little more glue. It dries up pretty quickly. And oh, so there. So there, nice and easy. So I think it has to sit there and uh, flush with the edge here where the front cover comes on. I think it will be pretty good with that. So, and uh, yeah, so stick the top cover on. Those two washers that fall down. So, that's it. And uh, I think we'll just clean this part now on with the top cover again so now to put the top cover on again the two uh, what do you say pins here um, I need to put the top cover on like this all the way over to here and get the um, the counter wheel into here at first and then put it over and set it down and it will be even much easier when you push the button the shutter button down so I will just uh, do so and catch the shutter button here push it down and uh, if I can so there and then it should be I mean it should be easier I know it's difficult to see because if I turn the camera over all the parts would fall down So there, but the the shutter button has to be turned a little, so it sits correct. It would be something there, I guess. So yeah, take care of the two washers in here, so they not fall off. And the the shutter button can be a little tricky too. Oh, so it is. <clears throat> I just have the the two spacers in here to sit correct. Maybe you should also turn the um, when I put the the retaining nut on. Has to be in the center. This one here. So I simply put this on and screw it in hopefully it's possible and then as the same time as I press down on the top cover I will turn the counter wheel uh, counter clock now I mean clockwise so it goes into the correct position and then I can t tighten the Retaining knot. Oh, 
Where did it go? Here. Just gently. And now the other side, which has the ASA and uh, the DIN. And uh, I will also just glue, put on some glue, not very much. Just a little will be fine and it dries up really quickly and I think the ASA should sit uh, backward I have no idea but uh, I would guess so I mean to more it sounds logic but maybe I'm wrong So there, and then I will put on the uh, the count. Uh, I mean the reverse, uh, the rewinder <laughs> handle, and the small spacer, which is the first that comes on, and it sits there. And then the screw here with the with the special one comes on here. And then I can, uh, with a bigger screwdriver, just screw it in. And hopefully it'll be correct. So, and then I take the two small spacers here and put on. And uh, so it's, it's in the center. Now the curvy spacer here, which is a kind of a spring, um, comes on. And it has to align in the middle. Now the, uh, the plate here, with the color or non-color or whatever, it says comes on and then the tiny little brass ring comes on come on little fellow it has to go in there oh so it sits there and then the screw comes on and you have to align the, the screw into the hole because of those uh, tiny spacers uh, has to because the thin plate here has to turn even if the screw is tightened. So, you see, it can still turn without the uh, screw is, is uh, I mean, even if the screw is tightened. Now the accessory shoe comes on, where is this? The two springs need to come on and this one just go on here and sit there then the first special screw with a bigger head comes on there so and then the counter sock screw
and then the uh, the top cover is actually correct put on I can just tighten this a bit so and you can see the counter key is actually working and now the um, the uh, film advance uh, sight <laughs> I mean the handle lever whatever it calls needs to put on and this spacer with the arrow comes on and then that long screw here which you just stick in and tighten it gently so and it should be possible to lift up this one here so the uh, the roll in here can come out and then so and let's see so now the camera looks much better I mean the things is not uh, falling apart the viewfinder sits where it should so <clears throat> hope you can use the the info in this uh, video for make properly taking your top cover on your robot full automatic automat <laughs> star 2 so bye bye